Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast. I hope everybody's well and having a, a great day. Um, a Maxwell's educational moment. Easy for you to say. Well, it's a quick tip, but I don't do quick tips. We try to be original. Um, a question I got asked um, via email, and uh, I get lots of emails and questions, um, and, I, and I'm not complaining, I think it's wonderful, and, and I'm flattered. Uh, and this question was, Rob, what's your knowledge like on plants? Because mine's not very good, and how would I improve it? Well, I'm not an expert, and uh, I have a can of knowledge, but I, I, I don't know everything. And uh, so, so I said to this, uh, I'll call him a young lad. I don't know how old he is, but uh, I assume everybody who emails me is young lads starting out, but that's probably wrong. But we'll say this young lad. And I said, well, there's probably about 20 shrubs you should know if you're getting into the game. You know, your, your uh, red robins, your lobelias, uh, your bedding plants, you know, your your hedges, your your laurel, your lelandi. Um, and then you, the shrubs, you know, what you should, your japonicas. The, and I, I wrote him a list of 20 and, and sent it to him. And I said, you should really know these um and if you can identify them in the garden, it's a great start. And then he said, all right. And, and I thought, you know, what? I'm going to tell him my little secret and I'm going to share it with you. Um, I have this catalogue. Now, it's called J Parker's. And I'm not sponsored by it. We don't do sponsorship on here. Well, if Weebang wants to send me a lawnmower, I wouldn't turn it down. I'm not daft, but uh, you know what I mean. It's just for a bit of fun. Now, I get this sent to me... Um, I think it's three times a year, definitely in the spring, definitely in the autumn. And I think I get one in, in summer and I spend a little bit of money, usually for my own garden, um, not for customers because they want it here and there. And I, I've got an, a local nursery, which I go to, but this catalog, right? Um, there's the thousands of plants in there. And if you're struggling to identify a plant, if a customer asks you, Come and check out the uh, the, the catalogues because it's in there. Everything's in there and uh, it helps. And a little bit of like reading on your break if you're having a cup of tea. And uh, I'll tell you a little scenario happened to me. A lady, I, I still uh, mow a lawn um, every couple of, every two weeks, 14 days th th uh, throughout the 34 week um, gardening season. But I didn't take care of her, her garden maintenance. She was happy to do that by herself, but she wasn't happy to push the, the lawnmower up at a slight, slight incline. And she said to me, Rob, there's a part of the garden that uh, nothing grows. Can you help? And uh, I said, yep. Yeah. It was obvious to me it was north facing. So there wasn't a lot of uh, natural sunlight. And I explained this to us. So look, it's a north facing part of the garden. Not only will your grass be a little bit bare um, during the sort of autumn and spring. I says, but you're going to struggle with uh, the shrubs you've got in there. And she said, do you recommend anything? I said, I do. I said, hostas and ferns and the like. And uh, she went, oh, looked at me like I had two heads. So I said, wait a minute. Off to the van. And I pulled out this little catalogue and there you are all the hostas and all the ferns and uh, I just showed her them um, and went through them like that um, and she was super impressed and she thought I was some sort of, sort of expert I'm clearly not um, and I said to her look what I'll do is I said I'll text you a few names um, when I get back tonight and uh, you can have a look on the internet uh, and she was over the moon However, that's where the story, the positivity ends. Because the next time I went, she went, Rob, you can't just help me out, can you? And there they were, a couple of hostas and ferns for me to put in. I put them in and I didn't charge her. Uh, I was just, I was early in my gardening career. I've learnt. Now I would have said, look, I can't do it today, but I can do it next week because I'm really busy. But I'll send you a price because we're running a business, aren't we? We're not running a charity. Um, but, that, you know, in the early days, I think we do give a little bit more than we should. Um, and them plants are still there today. And uh, every time I look at them, I have a, a bit of a smile on my face and think, yeah, that, that helped. So this is what I told the lad. I said, get yourself one of these catalogues. And I think there's more than J Park. There's loads of them online, isn't there? And it's not a plug for this, honestly. Or um, I don't know who they are. They don't know me, you know. But uh, if you get one of them and just keep them in the van, and if you see a shrub you don't know the, the, the name of, just come and have a look through, find out, 
and then just put it in the memory bank because somebody will ask you. Somebody will ask you. Um, so let me know which shrub do you always struggle to remember the name of because there's hundreds I do. Some days I can rattle them off and some days I think too many headshots as a kid and I can't remember my own bloody name. Oh, I shouldn't swear, so YouTube's going to have a, a fit when they hear that. Okay. Anyway, that's it from me. A Maxwell's educational moment. Improve your plant knowledge. Get a little catalogue. It costs nothing and just have a little look through. All right, take care. Remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. See you on the next one.